In this quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you a neat trick that will allow you to do simple text tracking without using Fusion. Hey, it's Matt Haynes, and a couple of months ago, I was watching a video by Joris Hermans, and I'll put a link in the uh, the video notes, and it was how to do text tracking using Fusion and the Planar Tracker, and it was pretty cool, and I recommend checking it out. And then I got to thinking, you know, there are times when using Fusion is just kind of a pain in the butt because it's a lot of work. It's really powerful, don't get me wrong, but you know, getting the planar tracker and tracking an object and then do it. It's just sometimes I just need to knock out a quick text tracking, text following, and I don't want to mess with Fusion. So I'm going to show you how to do text tracking without ever leaving the edit page. And it's pretty brute force, but it can be really effective. And oftentimes it's quicker than going into Fusion. So I need some video to use for this as a demo. So I'm going to wave my finger around and we'll use this as something to track with. So before I show you how we go about this, uh, check out this microphone I'm uh, demoing here. This is the SE Electronics Dynacaster, and it's designed for podcasters, for streamers, for YouTubers, and I'll be doing a review on it in a few weeks, but I'm testing it out on a few projects before I really dive in. Okay, so let's see how we go about this. I've isolated the in and out points on my clip, and I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline here. This method of text tracking takes advantage of the fact that um, DaVinci Resolve has this quirk with the text effects. And that quirk is that there are two different ways to position text on the screen. So let me show you here. So I'm gonna get a text layer going here. So I'm gonna grab a right lower third here and put it above my main clip. All right, just adding a little bit of text there. Gonna give it a color. First thing I wanna do is find out where I want my text to appear. So I'm gonna play it and stop it at that point. All right, right about there is where my finger kind of stops moving. So I'm gonna start my text effect layer right there. And then I'm gonna see where I wanna end it. And I'm doing a little funny thing here. I, I'm going to do a little, maybe a little surprise at the end here. So let's leave it about there and I'll uh, show you what I'm doing. Okay, so that is the, uh, the stretch that we'll have the text on here. Now, there are two different ways to position text on the screen using the titles. And you've got the, in the title tab, you have a position X and Y. And then in the settings, you also have the normal transform position. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna move the text so that it's touching the reference point uh, that we wanna use for our text movement or our text tracking. And in this case, it's the tip of my finger. Now, for now, it's okay that the text is not exactly where I want it. I'm, I'm using this to set my keyframes and then I can offset the text later. So don't worry if, if you don't want your text right on the object you're tracking, like you want it offset, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna turn on the transform um, guide and I'm gonna move this up here. I'm just gonna use the, the bottom part of the little G here as a reference point. Again, I'm not going to leave the text here attached to my finger. This is just to get the motion. And I'm gonna leave the transform guide on there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click a keyframe to enter a keyframe here for this particular position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna manually track this all the way through. So if you want real precision, you can do it every single frame. If you want, um, if you're not that fussy, you can do it every couple of frames. Really, it depends on how quickly you need to get things done. So I'm gonna do it every couple of frames because it ends up looking pretty good. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to adjust the G so it lines up with my finger for every two frames. And while this might seem a little tedious, I find this is sometimes faster than if I were trying to track the finger or whatever the object is using, uh, using Fusion and using 
planar tracker. So I'm gonna go doing this all the way through here and I'll just fast forward so that you don't have to uh, sit there patiently while I'm doing this. It, it does take a little while, but again, it's just, it's just simpler. I actually got a little bored in that and started doing it every three frames. It'll look just fine. Now, at the end there, you notice I do this big swish with my finger, with my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this go flying off to the side here. So I wanted to show you that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to track the finger as it goes. And then I'm going to continue the motion of the text. And I'm going to kind of increase the distance it goes each time. So it's kind of like an ease out, but done manually. And I'm doing every frame this time because it is moving a lot faster. And I'm just kind of going to let the text get a little bit ahead of the finger here this time. So I'm taking it off the, it's not really tracking the finger anymore. And I'm increasing the space that I move it each time. And we're out. So let's see how that looks here. Okay, that looks pretty good, but it is still stuck to my finger. So let's do this. We're going to go back to the beginning here. And now this is where the offset comes in that we can fine tune it. So come back to the title here, and we're going to use our X and Y to offset that. And uh, so I'm, what I want to do is I want to put it up in the, uh, the background here with the light a little bit, like so. So now we've offset the text and it's in the position we want it to be. And uh, we didn't use fusion. It's very low processing. It didn't take very long to do. It's just very simple and uh, it's good to go. So YouTube has informed me that they would like you to watch another one of my videos. I'm gonna let YouTube pick this time, but it's right there. It's super important. It's really informative and it's gonna help you in your life. So watch it.